Hi everyone, this is Neil Ryder here, consultant, audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the iClearscope and the scope. And here we have a patient who attended with bilateral occluding earwax and I'm commencing with this there right ear first. I've decided to use the right angle correct here, so there's a nice um, semi-opening at the roof of the ear canal and I've just embedded the tip of the right angle correct into that and as you can see by the angulation um, of the correct I'm pulling this out but whilst I am I'm uh, meandering around the natural contours of the ear so our ears are not straight cylindrical tubes in fact they're more oval shaped and they have a sigmoid shape so an s-bend and the bend is more so in the outer third of the ear canal. So just to the left, that's the first bend. That's about half a centimetre into the ear canal. And then a further half a centimetre to the right-hand side, you'll see the second bend where the ear canal meanders back to the right. So you enter the ear, you actually begin going into the ear slightly um, to the right, and then you turn left where that first bend is, and then you turn right again where that second bend is there to the right. So the patient's eardrum is intact, but they have got an attic retraction and their posterior malleolar fold, which is where the past tensor of the eardrum, which is the tenth section of the eardrum, connects to the past flacida, which is the, um, I wouldn't say thinner part of the eardrum, but the more elastic, um, flaccid part, hence the name past flacida. Um, and you get a crease there posteriorly called a posterior malleolar fold and to the front part of the eardrum, you call that the anterior malleolar fold. So the malleolar fold separates the past tensor from the past placida. And you can see that if you want to go back and rewind, the posterior malleolar fold is quite prominent there. And the top part of the eardrum, um, on top of the short process of the malleus, which is that pointy spherical portion on the hammer bone, on top of that, the eardrum is sucked in, but um, there's no keratin accumulation. So you've always got to be careful with a retraction that there's not a, a dead skin cyst um, forming, which can then turn into a cholesteratoma. Uh, the patient has had a recent cold, so they've got some nasal congestion, which is most likely blocked their eustachian tube, which is a, a narrow orifice connecting the middle ear cleft to the back of the nose, the nasopharynx, and the eustachian tube has a couple of functions really. It's the pressure equaliser in the ear. We want the air pressure behind the eardrum in the middle ear cleft to be equal or close as possible to the atmospheric air pressure, so the air pressure in the ear canal. And when the air pressure is uh, at equilibrium either side of the eardrum, that's when the eardrum is most mobile. So when the sounds hit the eardrum, that's when the eardrum vibrates the most. And these vibrations are then transmitted through the three middle ear bones, the ossicles, um, with the last ossicle, which is the smallest bone in the body, the stapes, that's connected to the cochlea. And when that stapes bone moves, it causes fluid pressure changes in the cochlea, the organ of hearing. And this fluid travels in waves over sensory hair cells, so we call them outer hair cells, um, causing the hair cells to shear side to side and to contract. And when they shear side to side and contract, they produce an electrical Impulse, so an action potential, and this electrical impulse is then um, transmitted to the auditory cortex in the brain via the eighth cranial nerve, also known as the cochlear vestibular nerve or the auditory nerve. Um, so in this left, you can see how narrow the ear canal is. I began using the right angle correct, but the wax is a bit softer um, and the ear is a bit narrow, so I reverted back to microsuction. And in comparison to their right ear, this eardrum isn't retracted, although it's quite vascular, as you can see all the uh, manubrum arteries which supply blood to the uh, hammer bone, um, slightly um, vascular. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well, and speak soon. Bye.